Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh, and today we are going to discussing about how to print our logs into our local. Okay, and how we can able to achieve. Why we required logs means whenever you want to do something like you run the program uh, means a set of files, but one of the file it is failed but you forgot to see where it is failed but identification is required right why it is failed but we can able to get it that particular location like the particular file is failed but we don't know where exactly it is failed means we can able to having option for logs these logs it will help you whenever you get some failure in the particular location if you use each step of that, uh, if you print the value, then we can able to get it that all the information from the logs. If you see, if you are not seeing, but you will be able to find that failure reason into that particular file. Directly, we can able to go and we can able to identify, we can able to close it. And another option we have, there is a screenshot. In that screenshot, how we can able to take those things, I explained into my previous video. Even you can able to go to that also, you can understand. Okay, why that screen also will take means why it is failed to like which position it is failed, we can able to identify. But what kind of reason it is failed, we can't see. But you want to find that also means we need to use for logs. How we can able to means we have an import logging okay this is a by default selenium is uh, like a python is having okay no need to install or no need to add any plugins like that by default python is having no need to bother about that okay we have a logging option dot info and i'm going to use for info and again we have the levels like debug okay a login dot a warning is there and you can able to use warning and we have another called error login dot at the last one is critical okay These are the levels we have into our logging place. Okay. And each one we can able to print by using in console or by file. Okay. If you are going to uh, run this file into a console, <clears throat> you can able to see there are three kind of messages only it is gives a warning, a root, a warning it is provided. Right. But it is like we used a uh, five things, but we found only three here. How means it will treat as a warning error critical as a more important. And I have to print immediately into that particular console place. If you define a file, I can able to go for define in that particular location. Whenever you use a warning uh, critical, it will comes under a console place. And if you define the specific file to store means we need to store those values. How we can able to store means and there is another concept a login dot basic config. Okay, it will take some file formats. Okay, if you mouse or in the particular location, you can able to see file name it will take a file mode it will take which kind of file mode and format of which format i want to print and date format a styles and levels a streams handlers everything we can able to use it here okay first one i'm going to use for file name if i use the file name and double quotation if you want to store these logs into a specific location okay that location you can able to specify it will store that particular location. Okay, totally. If you want to store 
the file itself into your project place you can able to use directly logs or my logs dot a log okay when you use this one save now again i'm going to run here <clears throat> <clears throat> If I minimize this one, you can able to see my log file came. If you hit here, but again here also, my file it is showing three only. Why means because whenever you hit, it will by default it will take for three only. Means we need to use another one that is level. Okay, what kind of level you are going to use? That is logging dot debug. This is my log level. Okay, now you can see one more time running. Okay, okay. Now again, I'll see now you can able to see information debug warning like we can able to in the double quotation we can able to use debug is a capital letters okay and now you can able to see here if i clear everything and you can able to go ahead here and run one more time see now info debug warning error critical all four five it came into here but why it is showing that colons root colon information why can't we see the format of time then level name level name is nothing but uh, info debugger what kind of thing a message what kind of message it is showing how we can able to see means we have another one to provide our uh, uh, what you can say format format okay it is doing some analysis format and here we can able to identify single quotation we can able to use and we can able to use percentage and then a braces we can able to a yes c we can able to use a c time and close and we can able to use dollar okay and the colon again here and again here in the single quotation we can able to specify again and percentage and a level level name again close the and percentage we can able to use dollar and outside we can able to use a colon again we can able to use the same format things Okay, and here we can able to use our message.
Format enable to use percentage. Yes, a time. Okay. Again, we'll see in this format only. Okay. Now I'll see here level name, and here is a my message. Okay, now I use these things and you can able to run and see whether the format it is. There is a Yes, uh, it is like uh, yes, not dollar. I thought it is need to dollar, but after that you can change as you can able to see now the format of your time. Here is my time. Then level, what type of level, and what information the message. This a format we can able to define. And to comparing to this, it is basically it will give for what time this particular error came and what type of uh, log level and what type of message we are printing we can able to see with the time even we can able to use by using time format also but date format we can able to use it but in that date format we take a lengthy concept like not lengthy we can able to say date format again we can able to single quotation inside and percentage em and we need to define a percentage date month and percentage year like this we need to define a single one by one and and if you want to define in the particular of only time minutes and second we can able to use it only uh, hours and minutes then also we can able to space we can able to use percentage h and per percentage em minutes like that we can able to define and we can able to achieve okay there's a date format also we can able to provide like this to seeing this uh, if you feel that i'm not able to understand properly this particular uh, Thing if you want to only the specific things then you can able to use it and here there is a 980 985 like this there are values are there you don't want this you can able to up to seconds you can able to define then it will print there and even you can the format you are not able to understand you can able to change the format of date first take the date and month year that also you can able to get it okay these are the ways we can able to identify our logs and we can able to generate the log file also. That's all about this video. I hope you understand this one. If you like this video, please like me, please subscribe my YouTube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues. Thank you.